Welcome to this lesson. Uh, here we're going to create our first resources on AWS. Let's open Atom. Okay. Click, just close it. This also. Okay, let's create in our project, we'll call it Lab1. Yeah. And here, let's create new file, will be main.tf. Because Terraform working with a, almost any cloud provider, we need to tell to Terraform with which provider we're going to work. So how we doing it? Provider in the quotes AWS and bracket. Basically brackets, and you can basically save it. Yeah, that's all. Uh, so Terraform right now will know uh, when we will execute Terraform. We're going to work with AWS, and it will download uh, some binary files for the AWS. But also we can set up here a few things in the brackets. Uh, the first is region, in which region we're going to work. Uh, for example, I s you remember we set up a, a one environment variable called AWS default region, but this is where you can uh, hard code it basically. Like US, I don't know, East one. Another things, another two things basically, which we can also configure here, it's credentials. Uh, it's also basically uh, if you don't want to export uh, variables and you want to just hard code it, which is I'm not recommend and it's really highly not recommended way. But anyway, this is how you can do it. Just type access key equal and your access key. You remember from our previous lesson, this is and secret secret key equal and just yeah type copy paste the value so basically here we tell them to add to terraform we're going to work with aws we're going to work with in this region of aws and this is your credentials yeah you can use these credentials but again i recommend you to not write a uh, credentials here never 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 write the credential key region it's okay but never write a uh, credentials here just export credentials as i told you another reminder just open shell export that's all you see aws default region us west 2 but because in the, in the code it's us east 1 it will use this one Envi environment variables it, dis it will disregard environment variables uh you know Let's do it West. <laughs> West 2. Anyway, we want to work in West 2. So, what are we going to do in our in this lesson? Uh, let's create a EC2 instance in AWS, like a virtual machine. And let's open documentation. Terraform EC2 instance. You need to know to work with documentation because documentation is you always, always, always go into documentation. Always. So this is a rest you see basically something similar to what we did. And scroll down. This is basically they always showing examples here. Okay, so this is a, a EC2 instance. This is how to do a EC2 instance. Let's just copy this. And here are all parameters which uh, you can are uh, all arguments which you can include. And not all of them are required. We see a lot of them optional. Basically, for the EC2 instance, only two uh, are required. It's AMI, which image we're going to use, and the instance type, the size of the instance, basically. Let's go here, copy paste it. I don't know, let's call it my Ubuntu. It will be my Ubuntu. Uh, here we need to provide the uh, AMI ID. How to find the AMI ID in uh, AWS uh, console? I'm on AWS console, going to EC2. Launch instances. And here, for the first thing when you're trying to launch instances is basically to select the image. So we want to uh, work with uh, oh, Ubuntu 20. See, nice. So let's take this AMI ID. And also Amazon Linux will take, yeah. So this is my Ubuntu. The, this is the AMI ID, which just copied. This is a Ubuntu 20. Uh, instance size will, will be T3 micro, yeah, why not? And also we want to provide tags. Uh, my Ubuntu server and owner equal then 
things and if you save it you see just you're aligning everything nicely okay looks okay i think uh, let's try and execute it terraform on this uh, file main.tf file okay let's go here terraform there's a lab one okay we're here you see what well, we have one file first things you need to execute is the first command of terraform it's terraform in it what it will do it will read all tf files in this folder in the current folder and we'll check which providers are in use enter as you see it's finding the latest version of hashicorp aws it see that we use it, we're going to use aws so it will it, it will download a aws provider okay terraform has been successfully initiated as you see it's it download it's created folder dot terraform in the in current folder and downloaded uh, all you know necessary files basically hashicorp aws g4 you see here's yeah, well, i don't want to proceed basically yeah it's downloaded uh, after execution you can do, uh, you can always uh, delete this file and also i recommend you uh, create if you're going to push your code into github bitbucket just create a git ignore file uh, to ignore dot uh, terraform yeah we'll do it a little bit later uh, all right so uh, this is the first command terraform in it and right now in order to create start creating resources we need to type terraform plan terraform plan We'll check again our files, Terraform files and current folder, and we'll show you what it's going to create, but it will not create. You see, that's all, I just, you see, it just don't ask me nothing. So it's going to the plan right now, if we will execute the Terraform to create resources, it will create one. It will change not zero and will destroy zero. And what it's going to create, let me maybe make it, make it much, much bigger. You can scroll up and here we go. Okay, the execution plan has been generated and it's shown below. This is what we're going to create. Terraform will perform the following actions. It will create resource AWS instance, which called my Ubuntu, with EMI, which we provided. All the rest will be known after apply. And instance size already also known. And uh, something else, uh, some default values basically. Yeah, this is a tax which we, we also applying. Uh, this is showing what it's going to create what this is what if you see on oh, looks okay yeah this is what really i need nice so let's the let's execute next command called terraform apply terraform apply first will show you exactly the same as terraform plan but it will at the end it will ask you are you sure you want to execute this yes oh you see it's basically showing exactly the same you will scroll up uh, we, we see we execute the terraform apply blah 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 uh, we'll create the following yeah this is exactly what we want and enter value only yes you will be accepted to approve any any like z for example yes you just apply cancel it let's execute it again and we'll type yes and it will start creating resource in our aws account okay right now let's type yes and here we go instance a uh, creating if we'll go to it will take a while it, not, not a while it will take uh, like a few seconds but if we'll go here you see my ubuntu server already running it still didn't create it like it still didn't finish the creation but we can already can see it in our aws console done that's all we created it if we'll execute it again what will happen what do you think it will create again an additional ec2 instance no because it's terraform terraform have state file uh, where it's saving every all the details uh, which it provisioned already and it's checking basically your terraform code uh, against the state file what terraform already did and what you wanted to do if you will see Basically right now it's check. Basically right now it's doing its checking. Uh, it's comparing your fi your Terraform file and the state file. What it what it did and what you wanted to, to do. And if it's match, like if it's exactly same, like nothing to do, it will show you like nothing nothing need to be done. Or oh, you see, apply completed. The resources added, change it. Like nothing need to be done. No nothing need to be changed. Uh, nice. As you see here. Uh, 
terraform.tf state file created. Basically, this file is a all details of your uh, EC2 instance, like uh, of resources which was provisioned by a uh, Terraform. It's only one uh, resource, basically uh, only resource called a uh, Mayubuntu. All right, uh, let's maybe add another instance. So basically, I will copy paste it. Uh, let's call it my Amazon, Amazon, Amazon Linux. I mean here, my. Um, uh, Amazon server, and we just need to AMI of Amazon server, yeah? Uh, let's go and try to launch instance, and just we'll copy a uh, find out, yeah, here we go. This is AMI. You see, I'm on the Oregon region. This is exactly where we want to create our resources. Uh, we'll cancel here. Come on. Ah, cancel and exit. So, right now we're going to create additional resource. Let's go here and copy and paste the uh, value. This is a uh, Amazon Linux. Um, yeah, all this, all the rest will be same. Yeah, that's fine. So right now, if we're going to execute Terraform plan, it will check the current uh, Terraform file and it will see oh, there is an additional resource which I don't have in state file. So let's see. Okay, this is what it's going to do. Let's see. Uh, my Amazon uh, instance will be created. This is AMI. Yada yada. Uh, my Amazon server. Uh, yeah. It's, all. it's only, you see, we have two servers here. One and second. But Terraform going to provision only one. So now we can Terraform apply. Terraform plan is not mandatory command, by the way. You, you can uh, just execute Terraform in it to download the providers and execute Terraform apply immediately. But I will recommend you, especially in production and especially when you just start uh, learning uh, uh, Terraform, execute Terraform, uh, use Terraform plan. Use Terraform plan to show, because like you can make mistakes and, and infrastructure is, you know, it's sometimes mistakes can uh, cost a lot. Uh, so yeah, just execute Terraform plan before you execute Terraform apply. Okay, so this is what it's going to do. Basically, it's the same as Terraform plan, same output, and just type yes, and it will start creating the second uh, EC2 instance. Uh, let's switch maybe to AWS console. Just start refreshing here, and we shall see in the second, the second server start provisioning. Okay. Oh, you see my Amazon server pending state. Okay, it's already running. Yeah, looks like working. And the tags, here we can see the tags, you see. They also, yeah, we're able to provision two EC2 instances using a Terraform. And uh, yeah, it's done, it's completed. If we'll execute it again, nothing needs to be applied and it just will exit it will, will exit uh, yeah that's all you see we created two ec2 instances so it's really simple uh, super simple it, this way you can create any resource just you need like for example i don't know security group yeah our next lesson next lessons we will create security group to attach it to ec2 instance how to create security group you don't know just go terraform uh, AWS security group just yeah look for documentation and we'll give you examples immediately examples I'm using documentation a lot just really you, you cannot know just and remember exactly what you what to type and also things change so just go always here okay you see here's example of security group just copy paste it in your code and update you make the changes you require changes for you that's all I think that's all for this lesson. Yeah, this is the way how to create resources in AWS. Next lesson, we will uh, learn how to update resources on AWS using Terraform. So, see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.